Hello, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. We're going to show you how to utilize air injection technology for soil. And we're going to do a transplant, and I'm going to use a two gallon bucket. And I'm going to train this plant not to get more than two feet tall. But we're going to go from a seed. This plant was germinated from a seed 16 days ago. 14 days ago, we plugged in the Bentley's Herb Garden and we parked it there. I like to park my plants, and you can see it's like a little small gorilla. I like to park them in my hydro system and then go right into my soil. So I'm going to show you how to prepare your bucket, whether it's a two gallon, five gallon, uh, three and a half gallon, it, it's your choice. I'm going to use a closed end bucket. And what I mean by that is I'm going to have a drain hole with a plug so I can drain and I can go ahead and flush my bucket how I see fit. Open end bucket with drain holes all the way around, that's fine, it depends. Play with it and see how you like it. But let's go ahead and uh, get our bucket set up. I'm going to take my uh, air injection technology for soil. I'm going to, I'm, in this bucket I'm going to use the, uh, the uh, Spider for Hydro 7.5 inch. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my air line. And I'm going to place this at the very bottom of my bucket. So this is what it looks like in the bucket. Now I'm going to take my soil and I'm going to start to load that in. And I want to come just to the top of my AIT. So I'm going to dump my soil in gently, dampen it down, and water it in. So once I have my soil in there, I'm going to go ahead and water that in, dampen it down. I want this very saturated when I start my transplant. I want to bring this young plant over into this nice, beautiful, wet soil. So I'm going to dampen that down, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my air pump, unplug from my DWC, Bentley's Herb Garden, plug in my air pump, and listen for the bubbles. That's how I know I have enough water. And I can hear the bubbles, so we're good to go there. So now I'm going to go ahead and continue filling my container or pot, whatever, whatever you're using. Continue to fill that with your soil your, or your preferred potting soil. Dampen that down and then we're going to add more water. And that's really all there is to it. Now you do not have to use, in my previous videos, the new air injection technology for soil does not require for you to build the air and water chamber. Those days are gone. So just continue to fill. And then we're going to water down, dampen down, and we're going to do our transplant. And that's really all there is to it. And then I want to talk about a few things to show you how I got this to that explosive growth rate in 14 days. I call it parking my plants in my hydro system. And in this case, we're using Bentley's Herb Garden. So let me get this done. We'll be done here shortly. This is a beautiful peat mix. It's all organic. And one of my still, one of my favorite soils, we didn't have it today, is the Fox Farm Ocean Forest. That's still one of my favorite soils. But this will be fine. You can use whatever potting soil you choose or whatever custom mix you choose. If you want to use vermiculite or whatever in your soil, that's fine. All you're doing with air injection technology for soil is you're, you're injecting air deep within your soil. That's all you're doing. That's the only difference between growing traditionally in soil and utilizing the new air injection technology for soil. So we're almost done here. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and dampen that down real good and water this in. I want this soil just totally saturated before I do my transplant. 
first of all, I'm coming out of a hydro system. Those roots are super moist, and I don't want those touching dry soil. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go into a nice wet mix. And yes, it's a little messy, but trust me, it's worth it. So I'm going to work that soil around. The first half I mixed is nice and wet, and now I'm going to work this in on the top. Work that soil in, get it nice and moist. You can tell when it actually absorbs the water, and it's doing that right now. And of course, I want to listen for the air bubbles, because I want to make sure that that soil is totally saturated. It's a learning curve. Play with it. It's fun to do, and you'll get very experienced at this over time. there. Let me listen for my air bubbles. Not quite. Dampen it down real good. You, you can tell the, the water and it just sucks in your soil. Now I'm starting to see air bubbles come up. So I know I'm pretty much there. I can see air bubbles popping at the top of the soil. You see my previous videos where I had the air and water chamber. Those days are gone, but you still want to achieve this before you do your transplant. And yes, I hear the, I hear the bubbles popping. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my actual transplant. Now I parked my plant in my uh, DWC Bentley's Herb Garden and let me show you the canopy on this. The width of this plant is wider than the height of the plant. Now how did we achieve that? Two different things we did. We talked about this in previous videos and that was mini cropping. Mini cropping, this is something I developed back over two and a half years ago. Mini cropping is nothing more than taking your leaves, the very tips, and cutting them off during the entire grow, from start to finish. That's all you do. That's called mini cropping. What that does is that drives more water and nutrients up through the plant, all the way through the plant. Now, the other thing I've done to get this root system that you're seeing, you're experiencing, is hair cut my roots. Now this is over 14 days. Every two days, I don't have all these stragglers hanging down. Now I'm ready to do my transplant. So what I'm going to do is simply open up my soil, and I want these roots to go as straight as possible. Now when I when I uh, germinated this seed, I did it in a two-inch net cup or net pot with a one-inch grow cube. It's it's a uh, grow down grow cube. And this is what I ended up with 14 days later after my seed germinated. So I'm simply, simply going to place that in, drop my soil around my little net cup. You don't have to use a net cup, I just prefer doing it. It's just so much easier to, 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 to work with. Pack that in, throw some soil in the top of the net cup, because I only have a one inch grow cube in there. Dampen down all the way around. That's it. You're done. I mean, is that fantastic or what? Look, at it. it's a baby gorilla. This plant is only 14 days old. Now, I could trim my fan leaves and whatnot as it continues to grow a little bit, but this was a very, very successful transplant utilizing the revolutionary air injection technology for soil which you can utilize in a, a two-gallon bucket and it comes in so many different sizes. But anyways, that's how it works. 
Again, I'm Wayne with Modular.